Is that is that it? John Morgan. Okay, well that's an example of everything going right. Hey, so there's two products that we're using right now. These Bora wheel spacers and the Tecton uh, torque wrench that both have a lifetime warranty. That's awesome. Welcome back everybody. Today we have a dangerous situation going on. A tractor without wheel spacers. There's no way I'd let my daughter drive this tractor without wheel spacers on it. It could tip right over. We're gonna fix that today. So we're gonna be installing Bora wheel spacers and we are proud to be sponsored by Bora. I wanted to partner with a company focused on safety. And if you have a tippy tractor, then this can really make a difference. Gonna widen your footprint out. So if you're on hills, feeling uneven, especially with a cab like this, that center of gravity is a little bit higher. This can make a big difference. Two and a half inch spacer is gonna add five inches to the width. Let's see how it goes. We've done this a few times lately, so we're gonna take all those tips, those pieces of advice that you left down below, put it to work. If you end up enjoying this video, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more tractor videos. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, not Bora wheel spacers, you buy these directly from Bora. But if you want something else, maybe a set of pallet forks, a snow pusher, a rototiller, you name it, go to goodworkstractors.com. Okay, we have Morgan today helping out with the wheel spacer install. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm feeling good. We're gonna knock this out today. Both rear wheels, we'll see how long it takes. I'm hoping we can do it in under an hour. Let's get to work. Break them bad boys loose. Good progress, nothing broke yet. I guess we're kind of cheating today using multiple people, huh? John Morgan. All the nuts are the same size. Nice little breeze in the shade. I think we're off the ground, are we? Yeah. Okay. Four minutes, 41 seconds. And counting. I think there is one in the desk drawer. That's why I tried to say it real quiet. Probably that thing, yeah. Maybe double socket set. The drill. Read of 141, so we'll just go towards the top end of the range because we'll probably lose a few pounds. I don't think so. That no. would be the proof in the pudding. There we go. Yep. I've been here the whole time working hard. We rotate it towards me a little bit. Nice. So we lift up. up. There's, oh, there's that one. 
There we go. Okay. That's good. Can you hold it there for a sec? Tighten those up. Boy, I tell you, things are really going good today. I'm not even breaking a sweat. I don't, I don't know. I think I'm just getting a lot better at this. But uh, we're at 24 minutes and we're already on the, on the second one now. We're making a really great time. Yep, pull in the lot and if you can park in front of the building. Nice. Nice. Hello? How are you? It's called the Twin Oaks uh, Center. There's the... Texas corner is Seven eighths, and we got the three quarter. Hey, so there's two products that we're using right now these Bora wheel spacers and the Tecton uh, torque wrench that both have a lifetime warranty, which is a bit unusual these days. I know there's a few products out there. So this is a quarter inch drive torque wrench from Tecton. Um, in the last video, when we were doing the Kubota BX23S wheel spacers, I broke my torque wrench. I don't know if it was something I did or if it was something that happened to the wrench. Um, but in that video, somebody left a comment down below that Tecton has like the best warranty out there. And so I looked that up and kind of drug my feet on actually submitting for the warranty, but it was super easy. I mean, if you go to Tecton's warranty page, it's like, Pretty much anybody who has the tool will be covering it under warranty at any point in time. I just uploaded a couple pictures of the actual wrench, described the issue and submitted it to it. We're gonna see how that goes. So I kind of thought about it last minute and realized when we were getting ready to install these spacers that I didn't have a torque wrench. So I went on to Amazon and bought this one. It was the only one I can get in time. It happens to be a quarter inch, but handy to have a couple of them on hand uh, anyways in case one breaks and it's working good so far today. And so Bora wheel spacers are gonna be the other product that has a lifetime warranty on them that we're using in this video. These are made in America. Um, this is gonna be an aluminum. They come anodized. They don't require any additional preparation. They do offer steel wheel spacers as well, which you need to prime and paint. Um, but these are a really good product. You know, you hear lots of great feedback about them. Again, a lifetime warranty. So if you ever had an issue, Bora's gonna stand behind it. It's good, 33 minutes we're at so far. Maybe it'll come your way a little bit like that. Really close there. Where's the other one at? There it is. Nice. Okay. See, this is where the left-handed and right-handed person comes in here. All right, well, you want to tighten those up?
Is that, is that it? 38, 38. Not even 40 minutes. Nice work. Good job. Okay, well that's an example of everything going right. 40 minutes to get the job done. Nothing got stripped out, nothing broke. We had two people, that made a big difference as well. You can't use two people for the whole process, but um, especially with the tires, you know, that can make it a lot easier to put those back onto with uh, a couple of sets of hands. Also, these tires were not loaded, so not having that extra heft there made it a lot easier to manage them. So I think, was this your first time installing wheel spacers? Yep. Okay. So maybe, maybe Morgan's a magic ticket here, you know? I mean, it could just be a, a Courtney issue. I'll accept responsibility there. But uh, I think from now on, we're gonna have Morgan install these. And just for the record, we installed two and a half inch spacers. So you double that, you have five inches total. We went from about 55 inches wide to 60 inches wide. So you're increasing the width of the machine about 10%, which, you know, you think of just two and a half inch spacers, that's not really adding up to much. But if you look at it in a percentage factor, 10% is a big gain in your width, especially when you have the same height of your seat. If you can widen that footprint out, you're not going up or down on the seat, you're gonna lower your overall center of gravity. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Again, if you have something that we should know, leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button to see more tractor videos. And if you want something for your tractor, check out goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking the time to stop by. The last thing we have to do is take this for a spin, make sure everything feels good when we're driving it along. Hey, Gabrielle, tractor's ready to drive. Hop on in. <laughs>